like a hell cut. Today our topic is two dimensional random variable. So basically f of x comma y means two dimensional random variable. From this we have to find small f of x and from that all right from this only we have to find small f of y. So how we can find small f of x, what steps are to be followed, how we can find small f of y and what steps are to be followed. Let's see. So our first question is f of x comma y is equal to 2 where range is from 0 to 1 for x and for y range is from 0 to x. So clearly you can see that it is a dependent variable question. You should note this because of this the formula changes all right so it deals with basically limits and we will see how it deals with limits okay now we have to find small f of x this is also known as marginal pdf this both are also known as marginal pdf and pdf means probability density function okay so let's find small f of x before finding this you should know one thing see we have to find small f of x so what we need we use small f of x comma y and we can eliminate this then we can get small f of x till now it's clear but how we can eliminate how we can eliminate y to eliminate y we should know the limits of y so that let's say example like y limit can be from 0 to x minus 1 or something like that so that we can eliminate y and we can get all the terms in x. So how we can get limits of y? So we have to plot a graph and from graph we have to choose y axis or you can say the vertical strip. So this is the flow. If you can follow this flow, you can get answer in minutes. So let's see that. Our first step is to find the graph. Our limit so this is x this is y and our limit is 0 to 1 for x so this is the axis for x equal to 0 whereas let's say this line is equal to x equal 1 now for y it is y equal to 0 means this line y equal to 0 whereas y equal to x means this is the y equal x line so this is our area now from this we have to select the vertical axis why vertical axis because we have to eliminate y so y range is from 0 to x cool what will we do now integral of y equal to 0 to x small f of x comma y why i am saying small x because small x means pdf whereas capital x means cdf okay so integral of y equal to 0 to x small f of x comma y dy all in terms of y you can see we are integrating in terms of y so that we can get value in term of x so let's solve this 0 to x 2 times dy this means 2y and the range is from x to 0 this means 2x and x ranges from you can see x ranges from 0 to 1 so this is our answer now we have to find small f of y Again the procedure remains same, if we have to find small f of y, we have to use f of x comma y. From that if we can successfully eliminate x, if we can el eliminate x then we can get y. To eliminate x we have to find the limit of x, to find the limit of x we have to find the graph and from graph we will find which strip, so basically x axis or you can say horizontal strip. So let's see how to solve that. First let's plot the graph. This is the y axis, this is the x axis. Okay, for x you can see again it remains the same x equal to 0, x equal to 1, this is y equal to x and this is y equal to 0. Now again this is our area. Now we have to consider the horizontal axis. Why? Because we need the limit of x and you can see the lower limit for x is x uh, sorry it's y and higher limit is 1 
सो अवर इंटीग्रल विल बी फ्रॉम x इक्वल टू y टू वन वाई टू वन एंड स्मॉल एफ ऑफ एक्स को मैं वाई डी एक्स सो वाई वन टू टाइम्स डी एक्स सो आंसर वुड बी टू ओके लेट्स ऑल दैट दिस इज x फ्रॉम वन टू ऑल राइट सो वन माइनस वाई सो दिस इज अवर आंसर एंड वाई रेंजेस फ्रॉम यू कैन सी वाई रेंजेस फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन हाउ आई कैन से दैट दिस इज वन बिकॉज एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन वाई इक्वल टू वन सो यू कैन सी दैट वाई रेंजेस फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन एंड द एफ ऑफ वाई इज दिस नाउ द क्वेश्चन टू इज वी हैव गिवन अ ग्राफ यू कैन सी दैट एंड द लिमिट इज वन कॉमा जीरो एंड जीरो कॉमा वन सो बेसिकली दिस आर द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द ट्राइंगल ओके नाउ small f of x comma y is c times 1 minus x minus y and we have to find c we have to find marginal pdf okay so first task is to find the c in last question we have found f of x and f of y there was no need of c because c was given in the question but now c is unknown so we have to find that okay to find c we have to consider one strip because this is a dependent question you can see it's a dependent question f of x comma y you have to find one strip now you can consider a horizontal strip or you can consider a vertical strip i will take both example for you first horizontal strip now the concern my here is what is the equation of this now if you know maths then it should be x plus y equal 1 now if you don't know maths then what we will do let's take the two coordinate 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 okay now let's apply the formula y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 now this equation is called as equation for a line and just substitute the coordinate so let's say this is first and this is second so y minus y1 so y minus 1 upon 0 minus 1 x minus 0 upon 1 minus 0 so y minus 1 is equal to minus x this lands me to x plus y equal to 1 that's what i said so this is the equation of line now let's talk about the coordinates so what will be the coordinate for this so x strip or say uh, what sorry x strip or let's say horizontal strip means we are changing the limits for x so x starts from 0 and x is equal to 1 minus y so 0 to 1 minus y whereas y will be a constant value so it's from 0 to 1 and x comma y dx dy that is equal to 1 after solving this you will get answer if we take the vertical axis if we take the vertical axis so x will have a constant value x is ranging from 0 to 1 but y will have an equation so it start from 0 lower limit is 0 but higher limit is now you can see y is equal to 1 minus x 1 minus x again f of x comma y dx dy after solving this equation you will get the value of c and it would be 6 now we have to find small f of x again let's remember the previous formula that we have to eliminate y so y is present all right so we have to use small f x comma y and we have to integrate this with respect to y because we have to eliminate y now we will need the limits so to get the limit we have to use the y strip or you can say the vertical strip okay so the lower limit is 0 and the higher limit is so x plus y is 1 So what is y? Y is one minus x. So one minus x is the higher limit. Okay. Now the important point is we have c, and the c value was six. So integral zero to one minus x, six one minus x comma uh, sorry minus y dy. Now y is the variable. So while you solve the integral six y comma x is a constant. So y minus y is a variable. So y square by two. 1 minus x and 0 after solving this you will get the answer and the answer would be 3 times 1 minus 2x plus x square and 
now you can see x ranges from 0 to 1 again so 0 to 1 so this is our answer now we have to find small f of y to find small f of y we have to use x comma y now what we will do so that we can eliminate x we have to put the limit of x and we have to integrate with it respect to x okay now what is the limit of x from this we have to consider a horizontal strip or a x strip so the limit for x is from 0 you can see to x is equal to 1 minus y so you can say that x is equal to 1 minus y so limit become lower limit is 0 higher limit is 1 minus y now you can solve this integral so 6 times 1 minus x minus y dy and you will end up with 3 1 minus 2y plus y square and y ranges from sorry this is dx and y ranges from you can see 0 to 1 that's it तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट